News coming in, Aam Aadmi Party now has taken the fight against the Delhi Lieutenant Governor Najib Jung to a new level now, filing a complaint with the Anti-Corruption Bureau for allegedly pressurizing the Delhi Home Minister to grant parole to INLD leader Om Prakash Chautala. Pooja is now joining us for more on that. Pooja, perhaps this is the ugliest sort of a face-off between a constitutional authority and an elected government. In fact, the Aam Aadmi Party has taken this fight even further and it has filed a, a complaint at the Anti-Corruption Bureau against the Lieutenant Governor directly. And the subject of the complaint copy, which is accessed by Times Now, states that this complaint is against the Lieutenant Governor, primarily for shielding O.P. Chautala and, of course, uh, uh, trying to show interest, political interest, in uh, granting him parole. So this is uh, the issue that has been raised by the Ahmadmi Party. We are uh, awaiting an official reaction also from the party, but most importantly, after the LG's office did that very crucial news briefing yesterday. Pooja, do stay on with us. Raghav Chadda of the Aam Aadmi Party is with us. Raghav Chadda, what really is going on? You've complained to the Anti-Corruption Bureau against a constitutional authority, against uh, the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi. Uh, well, uh, the person who holds the constitutional authority uh, has misused his office. His office yesterday agreed to the fact that on 21st of October in that meeting, the Honorable LG did speak to the Honorable Home Minister about that ex ex exercise pressure and he did not have the file notings at that point. The file reached his office on the 28th. He exercised pressure on the 21st. There is a clear case of, uh, you know, the Honorable LG being in touch with Allah and all this needs to be thoroughly probed and investigated. It, it, it shows that, that the LG, who is on a constitutional post, uh, is essentially um, primarily misusing his office. So all these well, the LG's office says, this is Mr. Raghav Chadda, the LG's office says that it is a minister who was trying to, you know, exercise pressure, saying that drop cases against uh, Aam Aadmi Party ministers, leaders, including the chief minister. And that's the reason why, uh, you know, he came out and opened against us. He said that it was the Aam Aadmi Party which was actually exercising pressure on us. After after 24 hours of your channel breaking the story, and the LG's office could not come up with a excuse, they you know uh, essentially orchestrated this story. The fact is that in that review meeting, or or in in, in the meeting in which uh, case of MLAs uh, and other people are discussed, uh, the the minister is not even present. He is not even a part of the screening committee. It's an independent panel, and these are petty minor minor offences. Uh, which, 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 which essentially include cases for dharna, pradarshan, etc. So this and this, these are, at the end of the day, the these are criminal cases, not one or two, but 24 <laughs> pending in courts against a, uh, the chief minister a, and also senior Amadmi party leaders. So how are they minor cases? No, no, I completely deny all these charges. It's a very convenient attempt by the LG to obfuscate from the real issue. The real issue is that he has been pressurizing the home minister of Delhi to grant parole to a person who's been awarded exemplary punishment by the judiciary on grounds of corruption. The mandate that the Aam Aadmi Party has received is for zero tolerance towards corruption. We will not let it happen under our watch.